So I'm saying at least installed the two packages we have uh, said about the the the, the, the Sipon and then the Mat Pro Trip. So the easiest way is to use pip. So pip install the Sipon and then pip install Mat Pro Trip. If that doesn't work, then you go for the Conda option. So the Conda has, has more than one commands. So at least run one of the commands in Conda. So we have Conda installed, see Conda, forge, Sibon, and then you go for the for the math pro trip. We have Conda installed minus C, then Conda forge math pro trip. Yes. So anyway. So what what we what 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 we do for those ones who are unable to install uh, the package, just use the this one, the Google Corrupt, because Google Corrupt and, uh, has installed the or has installed all the of the packages. So you just need to import. Both simple. Simple. As SNS. If I run this one, you can see my program works. Yes. So use the use the 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 the, the Google Corrupt. So let's start. Let's start. So today we are going to do. Excuse class. me, sir. Yes. I'm so sorry. I joined the class late. Um. Yes. What's your question? I can't. I can't. I can't hear you. Is this my machine or my thing? Yes. I'm saying yes. I have joined the class late. I don't know what packages you're telling us to install. Kindly repeat. So so I'm saying to install two packages. That is Seaborn package and then the Mat Pro Trip package. Use pip. This the, the first pip is this one. Pip install Seaborn. After after the compression and then use pip install Mat Pro Trip. If that doesn't work, then use the conda option. So conda has more than one command. So you can use either of the four commands in conda. And then if that doesn't work, then use the online option. Use the Google Corrupt. Because the Google Corrupt, you don't need to install anything. They have installed all the packages. You just need to run. So after you have done that, then Go ahead and import the the, 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 the modules that we, we are likely to use. So the first one is import pandas. Uh, let me check this person of mine here. Uh, Kab Kabira Rayton, yes, mute your <laughs> mute your microphone. Uh-huh. Yes, I think now we are good to go. So I've said uh, after you have imported your after you have installed your two modules, then go ahead and import the the necessary uh, packages that we are likely going to use. So the first one is pandas, and then the the second one is import numby. Yes, uh, the third one you import, import what? Import Matro Pro Trip as PRT. And then import, import Sibon uh, as SNS. And then you write this, you write this, you write percentage. And then Mat Pro Trip in, in line. Yes, so you run this 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 code of yours so write those how many commands have written one two three four five there are five commands the first one is to import the pandas 
second one is to import number the third one is to import math pro trip and then the fourth one is to import sibon and then the the last one the last one is actually uh enable enables us to view the the graphs the graphs when we try to use the math pro trip package so it is percentage math pro trip inline so once we have those commands now we we start actually we start plotting this graph so i've said i've said in visualization we have so many packages uh we have already installed two we have our, our bokeh we have this this package is it our bokeh i think i think this way yes we have another one called uh uh uh, we have a reboke and then we have what? We have protli. We have protli. And then we have, we have, we have what? We have, we have other nine. We have prot nine. Okay. So, uh, this one mainly, this one they are used for protein, uh, interactive graphs, interactive graphs. So, an example of interactive graphs is uh, like this one. Let me go this one. You see, this is an interactive graph. Why? Because it is actually it is in another language. It means this a moving graph. You will see when I try to to over my mouse, you can see. I can detect this point and then it says this point is one then i can detect this point i can detect this point of mine so that is an interactive graph okay yes the opposite of interactive is the static graph so uh, 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 so the 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 two the two packages that we have installed we are mainly going to use them to plot uh actually uh, uh static graphs okay they will be not moving so they they are just the way it is okay so yes so i've said <coughs> we were able to do the mat pro trip and then the sipon uh-huh and then the other the other one i would just send the notes and try to try to to read them or do them on your own Yes. So I've imported my 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 actually my actually a module. So the the first thing I want to do, I want to define some some of the graphs that we are going to draw. Some of the graphs you are going to draw and try to interpret them. Okay. So we are going to draw actually. Uh, a KD, a KDE graph that is kinetic density estimation graph. Okay. Then we are also we are also going to plot an histogram. An histogram. Excuse me, sir. Excuse yes. me. There's there's something number five the like module number five is this also a module that you are supposed no, to import no, no i've said that this one you can see it started with math math pro trip so it enables when you are going to use the math pro trip package then these commands enables us it's a uh 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 one of the magic uh, uh functions in math pro trip such that it enables us to to see now the graphs that we we have plotted down so it's not a package if you see this one there okay so it's under my trip it's under my trip yes Fine. so i've said we are going to do the kde graphs that is kind of density estimation graph we're going to do the histograms then we are going to do the the the, the, the distribution distribution graphs 
and then we are going to do the bar graphs bar graphs i'm odd odd pie chart yes we are going to do also scatter scatter plots yes so i think uh if we manage to do that which one which other graphs have forgotten so we ah we have the we have the actual d we have the box box plot yeah box plot graphs and then you can do so if you find time you can do the firing firing okay firing. yes so these are the main three these are the main three actually graphs that we are going to do okay yes so we would, we would try to so the most important thing the most important thing in these graphs is that you should know where to use these graphs so i'm going to explain the circumstances because no one will come and tell you that oh now draw this graph to represent your data or the information it's up to you to decide which graph you want to use so for you to decide you, you need to know oh, the the functions of those graphs so that if you are using kde graph you know exactly what you want to to determine or explain or interpret yes so let's start with the okay i've 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 insisted because we have two packages we can achieve this all these two <coughs> all these all these plots using either but pro trip or seaborn but for the for the case because we don't want to confuse with the, with the with the two modules i prefer to use the zipon because to try to output all the result of these graphs and if we find time we can use matplotlib to do some of the, these graphs yes so let's start with the kde so the <coughs> i'll just i'll just actually i'll just draw the graph and then from there we 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 try to we try to explain what does it mean so it records it's called a kernel density graph so from the graph uh, 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 you can you can actually say that the graph represents the density distribution density is the distribution over of 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 a variable okay so let's create maybe an x use np dot we want to create want to create a, 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 a np dot random we want to create random numbers dot random random i want to create the the non normalized normalized values zero two hundred and then i want to that should be the range yes so what are we it's random what have i typed <clears throat> NP dot rand yeah this one now we create n and then set zero to one hundred we get zero to one hundred and then the range should be five. So if we put x, 
you can see my what is it okay okay so dash so i've created this uh just a moment just a moment to confirm something zero that's and Yes, just that that is that this one stay this way. Then you have created X. You create the Y, the Y value. So we have Y and X. <clears throat> so we try to create the the actual D. Uh, KDE. So we use the SNS dot KDE, and then we give KDE prot, and then inside prot we specify we specify the the data. In this case, it is let's give x, and then we do. Yes, let's just simplify this graph of ours to be like this way. So you can see uh, we have used the sipon because we imported the sipon as SNS and then you have said SNS dot KDE prot and then you have passed the, 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 the data. So the KDE graph looks like this way. So it's a distribution graph but using the the density function so that's of more of statistics so in this case in this case we have actually we have actually uh, normalized this this what these uh, values of ours that is the y so we have normalized the y and then you can see the graph we have plot is a uh, actually a normal a normal graph a normal graph so how do you how does how do you use this kind of graphs okay so this kind of graphs actually you use them to show the 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 the, the distribution of a variable if you see here i i have i have my variable as 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 actually x so this is the values of x but i've normalized these values i've normalized them so normalization normalization means <coughs> means that the, 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 the these values should be within the mean and the standard division that is being specified so for normal distribution uh, the mean the mean is equals to 1 and then we have the standard division as what 0 is it so for those ones who are taking the the the, 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 the statistics class so i've said we use the kde plot to show the distribution of the variable so here if you can see we can say that this uh, distribution of 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 x takes what takes the takes the normal distribution okay yes so normal distribution you know your mean would be approximately to to, to 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 one and then the the standard deviation approximately to zero yes uh -huh. maybe we can give more information but i actually going to give more information when i'm i'm i'm, I'm actually going to going to plot the box plot i'm going to <coughs> for the box plot i'll give more information yes so Excuse me. Uh -huh. Could you please repeat? I'm a bit lost. Yes, I've said I get the I can a density. I can a density estimation wrote actually when you do that you 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 expect to that's when you are trying to determine the distribution of that variable. So you have created x, you can see x here. 
as our values okay so they are other hundred values okay and then we have normalized this x of ours so the rand n the n stand for stands for normalization okay so we have normalized this x of ours if we remove n and then try to run this and run this you can see these values are different from the ones because this this is just the these are the front type but they are not normalized okay so how does the normal the, 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 the normalization take place so values are being normalized using this uh, actually formula okay so these are the the values normalized so to normalize a value maybe you have 60 and you want to normalize it okay so what you know need to know you need to you need to have the mean the mean of the population just for the, those ones who want to so you need to have, to have the mean of the population and then the standard deviation standard deviation yes so deviation so once you have standard division you use the you use uh, the formula as follows <clears throat> it is x your value you minus you minus the mean and then this value you divide by by what standard deviation that's how they they they, they do normal they, they they do standard deviation that's the thing. This, this is how they do the normalization so i've said the kd graph we have plotted and then we have said that this kd graphs how to interpret these graphs so the the density uh uh the kernel density plot actually from that graph you can determine the 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 the, the kind of distribution you have so in this case we have a normal distribution okay so if you want to do uh you want to research more about the distribution you can just go online then do more research so we have so many types of distribution okay we have binomial we have whatever i don't i don't remember all of them but so <coughs> remember remember when you are doing that analysis you need to interpret your result yes so that's why you you need a bit of statistics so in this case when you have a you have a variable and then you want to see the kind of distribution that variable what you use is a, a kde plot okay use a kdb and then from this from this we can actually uh we can actually determine which kind of distribution in this case for this case we have a normal distribution okay yes so there are there are there are other distributions there are other distributions in case you are interested you can go and do research and then from there so when you have a graph you know that mm, this one is also from these graphs you can see the <clears throat> the distribution of the data points because these are the data points so it means my data points lie between this 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 curve okay yes so let me try to give a, a different example so that I can able to actually to actually uh, uh, to actually able to SNS to explain now in detail. So SNS dot we are in the what the KDE. Yes. So you can see the documentation of the KDE. This is how the it's being documented out. It is cbon.kde plot, and then here these are the parameters that can be passed within the, the KDE. Okay, these are the parameters. So in our case, we did not give any parameters. 
you can see we only passed only data the first the first one the first one that is data is ms2 yes this case we said x okay so in this case you can see you can pass your your x and y values okay you can also use this one it's easy you can also use so you would go you would go and see the documentation cleared okay they have explained the documentation i can't do all these options you go and play with them you just you just go and say maybe maybe let's add one or two let's use the color and then the 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 the, the which one which one again let's try the color uh -huh. so let's go back comma and then say the color same as two so that, let's add some of these of ours so Kara same as <coughs> we say add this actually becomes red okay yes so there's nothing much that changes just go and play with the the other other parameters that we have not used okay yes you you can define the region you can find actually the the the, the un norm same as none so you can try they have explained those values they have explained those parameters okay so they are not difficult really to to do them as long as you know these are the the simple way to create a AKD plot and then go and try the to include other parameters go and try to include other parameters maybe let me add the shade if i run this one my graph is now what shaded so that's what i mean go and try other par parameters so go and try other parameters try to add them and then run your graph from there you can actually develop best practices in data visualization okay uh -huh. so yes so go and try to 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 actually do this so <clears throat> what you need to keep in mind is that uh, uh the the kd graph you only need to 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 to, to plot a kd graph when you want to see the di distribution of that variable that's what should become in your mind okay yes so let me use try to use this try to use this uh, uh example so they have wrote the data <clears throat> so, uh, uh, we remember remember we are using a cns or a sipon package so a sipon package you can actually load data from there they have uh, uh, some uh, some various examples of data so i can use a kde to load this data the data is called uh, tips okay yes so let me try that so i give a name as tips and then i use sns dot roid data set and then i give the name of the data set as tips so if i run this one if i run this one and then i try to have my tips dot eight i can see now the, the structure of the data okay so you can see this is the data we are having the columns are total beer tip and then sex and then we have smoker day time size okay so in this case you are, we want to plot a distribution graph not a distribution but a kind of density graph a kd graph using the four columns the first column is actually total bit so let's try the total bit so we say it's sns dot kde uh-huh 
Okay, deep root and then data is a must what? Our data is a must two tips. And then our x is a must two. The total bit. Okay. Total bit. Total bit. Yes. So let's run. Let's keep it symbol. So you can see. Uh, <clears throat> so if you see, if you can see this this date of mine, it's actually not normal now. Okay. The data now, the, the, the graph is not normal. For this case, the, the data is not actually normal. Why? Because you can see, you can see the, the skewness of this, of this graph. Okay. So I'm um, I'm um, I'm um, actually the this is what I mean. This is what I mean. The skewness it means look at the the tail the tail of these graphs. The this is the left tail and this is the right tail. So you can see the right tail is longer than the 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 the, the left tail. So in that case we say that this graph is what is skewed to the right, skewed to the right. Okay. Yes, so I will give more information, more information when I will do the box plot because they they are they go uh, actually almost the same. Okay, so excuse me. Yes. Uh, is the tips like a function inside the this one? What we down. The, the models, no, not and the above code. No, I've said we have some data set. This data set can be found, can, can be found online, okay? But but we have some data set that's being uh, 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 present in the the Seaborn packages. So we can load instead of actually, if you want to access these tips, that's a data set online, you can just search tips tips.csv <coughs> .csv csv so this is just your data you can see this is the same data from somewhere else okay this is the same data okay so we can either load this but we have said now the the sipon packages actually have this data so what we do we just load the data from the sipon packages this is what we have done here we have loaded the data set from Sibo. So we have said it is CNS dot road data set. But again, if you don't want this one, then you can go there. The, the this option of ours. You can go this option of ours. The one we have all used, used this one. So you copy this link and then you come here. You come here instead of roading, then now you read say bit dot read did read table. And then here we insert the, the the ring. Yes. So if I run this one, I run this one, I expect to have the same. Okay. So let me divide my separator here. Separator. Same as two. Is it what? It is a a comma. Comma. So if I run this, I run this, I have the same data. So, so there is no really much difference, huh? Yes, only that the easiest is the easiest way. So if you are planning to do some kind of made machine learning, other things, so you can have some other packages that have the, they have the, the data. So what you need is just to load the data set. You don't need to. To find it and then or read through the the, the the pandas okay so <clears throat> let's now go to other things let's now go to the other things so these are the other options of doing these graphs but they remain they remain uh, actually uh, uh, they, they they remain to be kde okay yes so 
you can actually compare these graphs you can actually compare these graphs <coughs> with the other categorical categorical variable so let's say maybe we have smoker here so let's add the this so that we compare the the, the, the graphs for those who smoke and then the, those who does not the distribution of the of the graph of the data for those who smoke and then for those who doesn't smoke so we just use the u option and then we say it is in this case we want to use smoker yeah so if we run this we actually have our two graphs <coughs> so you can see the distribution of those who smoke you can see this here for this the green one is they are not what smoking so for the for the for the red one they are smoking so you can see the now the distribution of these variables huh? yes so this one is for the for the ones who are smoking the green curve it's kind of a normal graph but why the the one which the one which are not smoking it is actually kind of a normal why the the one which are are smoking it's kind of skewed to the what to the to the to the right because we have the wrong tail here that this tail of ours is not the same of this tail yes so that's how to grow those kind of density excuse excuse sir yes scroll your screen down upwards okay. yeah apple this hu is this a, what is this function so i remember i opened online i opened online here and then i give the documentation this is the documentation of the kde prot okay so the kde prot takes these parameters this is the data we have x name we have also y name you can specify your y name yeah your, your, your y values and then you can specify other these parameters they have been explained here okay they have explained here you can see what does the feed method means okay uh-huh what does the, the the cumulative mean what does the feed adjust mean so those are the parameters you can pass but this is not compulsory okay they are not compulsory Fine. yes so you only need to know some of the few like this one is i think this one makes sense because if you want to compare those who are who are smoking to this they are the 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 distribution then you can see the the u the u what the u parameter now you specify your u parameters yes anyway let's go to the other graph so we said we could do let's go to the actually histogram so the histograms also it's a for distribution purposes for distribution purposes to prove that one you just need the sns dot uh, uh dot east histoprot and then after that after that you specify your data your data and then Let's just say the X, make it symbol. Yes, so this is a an histogram, an histogram. Okay. So remember the data created, the X data created, yes. So that data to show the distribution, you can also use the, the histograms. Okay. So this is the this is the what? This is the frequency or the count. Okay yes so you can see this one and then you can also this the 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 the, 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 the two so it depends on you now what do you want to actually to use okay their main purpose is to show the distribution of those variables yes so let's take let's take a, a an example of using the data set we loaded that is tips tips dot add dot add and then we say sns so we want to see the distribution of age okay yes do we have age you don't have age my friend let's see the distribution of the total field distribution of the total field 
as an s dot is is to prod and then inside is to prod we specify our data as tips yes and then we save our x same as two we said total bit total bit yes so want to see the distribution of the total bit this is how it looks like so you can see you can see they are almost the same I would draw, I would draw actually a, a distribution graph that will combine the this and this graph of ours. Okay, so you can see this is how it looks like. So <coughs> from this, from this you can see clearly the data is skewed to the left. Okay, yes, data is skewed to the left. So if you are drawing some distribution, maybe like this one. So the data would be skewed to the left. And then also another important point to make is that when you want to do the outliers, we did not actually uh, uh, do the outliers. So the outliers, they are the points which do not lie with the, within the other points, within the other points. So we use these graphs, we use distribution graphs to actually detect the outliers, okay? Yes. So if we we have the wrong tail, so we can know that the 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 the, the 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 some of the those data are outliers, and then we can actually we can actually uh, remove them. So I will give an example on how to handle the outliers, and then after after we have done these plots. So these are to plot an histogram, and then <clears throat> you can use the same concept as what we have used here. To interpret those graphs because they they almost look the same. So let's combine. Let's combine now. Let's combine the two graphs. We use the SNS dot distribution. Uh huh. So inside here we specify data. Data same as two our tips, and then x x same as two. Actually, total bit. So let's see this. How does it hold the total total bit? Uh -huh. Is it a total bit? Is it total bit? I think that is it. So if I run this one, now I have my. Uh -huh. Why am I am having this. I should be having the the, the, the combined. <clears throat> yes, 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 yes. So a distribution graph actually combines these two graphs. So I don't know why. Okay, okay, I know, I know. So let's go to the X. Let's use the X. Let's use the X and then we use an example of 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 of. Let's use the X data that we created. This so oh, oh. I know. So what we are saying is that we can use the distribution graphs. Okay. Distribution graphs so that we can able to they, they are distribution graphs. So you can, when you are given <coughs> the data, it's you to decide what you want to use. It's you to decide what you want to use. So what did I use here? Yes, it's you to decide what you want to use. Okay. But you, you, you prefer to use the one or oh. Yes, so you can see, you can see I've, 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 I've actually, I've actually combined this with, with actually these graphs. So, remember this one, the, the KDE, and then the histogram, and now I've combined the two. You can now see the two. 
So I don't I don't think they <clears throat> so it's up to you to decide, but they all they all communicate the same the same way. Okay. So if I combine the two, maybe it's more appealing, but at the same time you are just what? You are almost just doing the same thing. So it's up to you to decide to actually uh, do any of the three graphs that we have created. They have the same interpretation. Okay. So this is the density and then uh -huh. so you find there. The Please move your screen up. Yeah. What is it? Like move your scroll upwards you want to see the syntax of this other plot. Just a dist a dist plot, yeah. A dist plot and then you pass your X. The one before kindly. This one. Yes. Okay, okay. <clears throat> so that is it. That is it. That's how to plot there. I think now we are done with the we are, we are remaining with actually one one distribution graphs. So when you want to see the trend of the data or the variables, you use distribution graphs. You want to see how you are, how you are, how you are fed you or the data points are being distributed. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Why is this other graph not working with the tips data set? Which one? The, the combined one. The combined one because the combined one actually takes the takes the normal. The, you have to normalize your data points. Okay. Yes, remember X, we normalize the X. Oh, I get it. I get it. Yes. So the the, the 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 data points has to be normalized for you to have this. So the 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 distribution graphs is actually trying to normalize this data and then uh, uh, try to communicate. I've said you use these graphs. <coughs> the first one, the first reason why you use these graphs is that you want to see the distribution of the data points. Another one we want we want to 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 actually detect outliers, and I've said outliers they are points that actually lie outside other points, okay, or lie outside other the 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 required points, okay, yes, and those may be due to the to the error maybe in recording or variation or variation. Yes, so let's give her an example using our data set. <clears throat> SNS dot beast. Yes, I've said, you know, I'm just actually, <clears throat> I'm actually uh, uh, writing in a symbol in a basic manner because I've not, I've not, uh, put other things like maybe the the title, the what, the access. Okay, so what you do, you just search the 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 the, the SNS dot list, and then you have the documentation. So you can see these are the variable, the the the, the parameters that you can specify. You can specify the label, the x label, the the y, and then other things also. Okay. You can also you can also if you don't want if you don't want this 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 KD of yours to appear, you can actually set you can actually set your KDE to be false. So if I run that, if I run this, I don't have now my KDE. I only have the, the Instagram. Yes. In this case, let this be actually two. So you actually go, I've said, you, after I've finished, now your work is to go for the documentation of each graph. See the other, other parameters that you can pass, okay? You can pass and then from there, because they have explained those parameters very well. They have explained those parameters very well. Yes. 
So I would actually find uh, 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 let's say to do this. So we have to normalize the, the data in case you are in case you wanted to use the, the, the total bit. So you have to normalize this data of ours. Yes. Anyway, <clears throat> let's go to the to the last division this distribution distribution graph and that is that is the the, the scatter not the scatter but the box plot the box plot let's go to the box plot so to plot a box plot you have maybe something like this and it's an s uh, our data is what actually tips dot eight and to see tips dot eight okay uh -huh. so we want to use we want to use <coughs> So we want to draw a box plot and then see how the it looks like. So it's an S dot box box plot and then you specify the data, same as tips. Uh -huh. And then X X same as two. So the X values in this case the X values should be what categorical values x values should be categorical values so in this case let me take this x as the x values and then the y values should be continuous or discrete same as to total total bit so we want to see the distribution of the variable total bit in in what in actually a uh, 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 gender in gender terms so you can see so i want to interpret these graphs i want to interpret these graphs so let me let me actually uh let me actually make it first of all symbol and then i would include the other how do you include so xm as two total bit total bit does run this yes so i want to explain this one and then and then we we actually <coughs> we do the the other one that we have done so this is a, a box plot okay so we can see we are can see the the box here the middle and then we can see this so these are called whiskers they are called t whiskers t whiskers so we have to two t whiskers huh? yes so in this in this in this uh box plot mm -hmm. so <clears throat> From from the left, we assume from the, the 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 box plot is starting from the left this side to the right this side. Okay, so this value here, this value here is the minimum value in the in the what in the distribution. Okay, and then this is the maximum value in the distribution not in the data set you need to understand the difference i have said this day <coughs> you know when we do these plots we actually are determining the distribution of those data points so by default we get the the required distribution you can see from the graph from the graph runs from here from this whiskers to the this week with casa huh? so that is the the required distribution of those data points 
So I've said from this, we expect the graph is starting from this point to this point. So this is the minimum value and this is the maximum value. And then we have this, we have this, the starting off of actually this box. So this box, the starting of this box is actually uh, a Q1. That is, that's what? Q1 is given as what? The, the first quartile. So from Q1 here to the, this lower, this, 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 the, 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 the left whisker, we, we say that it is 25% of the data, okay? And then from, 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 from the upper, this is the, the Q3, that is the quartile 3, or the upper quartile, the quartile 3. So from quarter three to the to the left to the to the right whisker we say that's another twenty five percent of the data. So from here to here, from here now to here, from quarter one to quarter three, that is a fifty percent of the data. Okay. Then this one, this one that's cut here, it's actually given us the Q two. So the Q two is the media. The Q2 is the median, okay? Yes. So I want to explain now these points that are, are beyond this. So <clears throat> I've said <coughs> once you do the once you do the box plot, you have so many information. By default, you have the required distribution of these these actually data points. So we have said from here to here is the 25% of the data, from here to here is the another 25% of the data, and then from here to here it is the 50% of the data. And then we can see the median is given this one. And then we have said this is the, this is the, actually, uh, the first quartile and this is the, the third quartile. Okay? And then, now, if you can see, because we have said, you can see ourselves that now the data should derive between the first, the left, the left whisker to the right whisker. But you can see there we are we have actually have other points. So these points we say these points are called outliers. Why? Because they don't lie within the distribution, the required distribution. Okay. So <clears throat> we said we try to actually we try to we try to let me let me give the corresponding the sns dot 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 what dot uh -huh. i want to bring the the other graph so that i can compare the you can see the the the, the similarities of these graphs so sns dot the KDE, KDE prot, <clears throat> and then advanced data, same as two tips, and then X, same as two what? With the total bit, total, total bit, yes, four, four. Yes, so you can look at this. You can look at this, this graph. If you see the the rent of the the rent of this the rent of this T whisker, the first T whisker to the to the actually the first quartile is short or the is it short the, the in terms of the rent is shorter than the rent between the 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 the, the, the upper quartile and the 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 right the right the right t whisker so what does it mean so it means that now you are you are you are your distribution is actually skewed to the to the to the to the to the to the, to the right the same way you can see now the same way you can see now that this this wrong tail of your yours is to the the right so you can see the similarity the only difference is that this one is more, it's actually more co 
communicating because from here you can determine the mean you can just read the mean you can just read the, this is the this is the, not the mean but the median this is the median and then you can you can read the 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 the, 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 the upper quartile and then the lower quartile and then the the minimum and then the maximum value in a distribution but they almost trying to communicate the same thing okay so from this i've said <coughs> i i told you how to discuss the outliers i said the outliers you can see the wrong date actually communicate the what the outliers because this data should be we expect them to be in a normal display like this one but we have the extension of this state so that, that data is given us outliers the same way here the same way here we have distribution from this t whiskers to the the second t whiskers and then this data here it's now called outliers so do you have the do you have the equation yes 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 like just show the last diagram this one or even this like when we say the data is right skewed yes can you please explain in simple term what this right skewed means so it means that you, the data is actually it's extending to the to the right we have talked about the outliers so the skewness, the skewness of the data is being brought out by the outliers is that okay so the outliers they are points which are not supposed to be within those uh, those distribution so <clears throat> the correct distribution of this graph should be take this way the way it started this way we should not also expect to have the same what the same the same curve but you can see the, now the curve doesn't appear the, the same way to for, for like this one so it actually extends so why it is extends because of these outliers so if you remove these outliers you can have your your your, your curve that takes the which is symmetrical your curve that is symmetrical yes should be the same this side should be all, this should same as the other side there the left and the right side should be the same but now you need to handle those outliers so that's why we are saying this data of ours is skewed to the right this the tail extending to the right now the data is skewed to the right if the tail was extended to the left we, we do opposite we say that the data is now skewed to the to the left yes and if if that is the same then we expect this tail here to be longer than this tail for the box plot also you can use these boxes you can use these boxes the first box you can see the first the first box the left box is actually uh rest compared to the to the right box okay so it means that now the data is skewed to the to the right so you can use either these boxes or the t whiskers okay yes to explain the skewness of the data and i've said the skew the skewness of the data is being brought out by the outliers outliers let's let's actually go to the next one which may be likely to to see clearly <clears throat> so let's let's do the let's do the scatter plot so sns sns dot scatter so for the scatter plot scatter plot you can <clears throat> you can use the scatter plot to determine the distribution of the data points that's one point also you can use scatter plot to determine the correlation of the of the of the actually your two variables so scatter plot your variables have to be actually continuous or discrete you cannot use scatter plot to plot a, a categorical va variables okay 
we use catapult to use continuous variables. And then we compare if they are correlated. Another function is that you can see now the you can observe the distribution of the points of the data points. And then from there you can see the whether you have your you have the outliers. You have the outliers. Let me try to actually pick two points and then do the same. So I want to check the distribution of the total bit and the tip. I want to see if there are outliers. Another 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 thing I want to discover if the two variables are correlated. SNS, SNS dot scatter <coughs> scatter plot. Inside scatter plot, I specify my x, my x same as two. <coughs> Can use any, any other, but let me just I prefer the uh, oh, yes, I prefer the, 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 the total b to be to be actually uh, 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 dependent. So this one should be actually take the tips and then the y the y should take the total bit. Yes, so of three of three of three it is doing fine. So we've done this. So next let's cut or I did not specify data. Data same as same as what? Tips. Yeah, so if I run this, I still have the the error. So why why am I having this error? Could not interpret value tips for parameter x. How do do I actually mm -hmm. anyway? To make it simple, let me just remove the speech marks from the tip. Okay, okay, okay. So x, y. Remember I created x and y variables. Let me just try this. Yes. So look at this. Look at this. So these are the scatter plots. So I have my <clears throat> my x here and then my y here. From there, you can see now the distribution of these points. Okay. Maybe the this one are actually more scattered this correction I more scattered let me, let me use, yes yes which correction have you made to produce this scatter plot which which correction have you made in your in your initial code to produce this scatter oh, no, plot i actually use the the one i created but i can correct the the the, the, the let me correct the actually let me correct the the two I've just used the x and y. I created the x norm values and then the y norm values. Excuse me. X minus. Excuse me. Yes. You used tips instead of tip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would, As in x is equal to tip. Okay, okay. So uh, let And anyway, let me just try to correct this. So x same as two. We say x to be actually. Oh. Yeah. So we said SNS dot scatter plot, and then we have x same as two. Same as to tip, and then y same as two total bit. Like y same as total bit, and then data same as two tips. Tips, yes, 
let me run this so i have my distribution <clears throat> so these are hard you have so many you have so many you have so many things to explain but let me just try to explain the the point here because some people did not understand what i'm trying to to talk about the the, the skewness and then the the the, the, the the whatever is skewed to the right, skewed to the left. So look at this, look at this now, because this one, you can see, you can see these values. So what I can observe is that the distribution, the distribution of these points is likely to be this, okay? Around here, because if I draw a linear regression, it will actually pass here and then go to the, to the end, okay? But look at this, these some points. This one, they are far from the line. These points are far from the line. Okay. <clears throat> Let me see if I can actually use the line. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. oh. I don't think I have this. So let me. SNS dot uh -huh. Yeah, let me use the reg plot. The reg plot actually, the reg plot outputs this output the the the. It gives an option of drawing the regression line. I will explain the regression line. I will explain the regression line. So that you see what I meant. So the range plot here. Then I move this, I move this, and this. Yes, so you can see my line here. This is what I'm trying to explain. Now this is more informative than this one. But they are they are they are the same, they are scatter plots. So this is what I'm trying to say. If you see my line. You can see my line clearly, and then I'm saying now the the the, the outliers. I want to explain the outliers. You can see this point of mine here. It's very it's very far from the line because what does it mean? This line means all the points should actually be close as close enough to the this line of ours. This is a regression line. <clears throat> but if you look, at this point of mine here is very far. This point of mine here is very far, and another one, maybe, maybe this one, yes. But this and this one, they are very far. So they are likely to be the outliers, okay? They are likely not to be part of these points, the required points. That's what it meant. The same way I was trying to explain. These points here, these points lying to the, to the wrong tail. These points, they are likely not to lie, to, to, not to lie or not to be within the, the required distribution. The same here. This point here, they are outside. This one actually is very informative because if we have outliers, if we have outliers uh, 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 more than the maximum value of the distribution, they are indicated here. If they have outliers uh, less than the minimum of the distribution, they will be indicated here on this, on this, uh, the, the, the left direct t whisker yes so that's what i mean so i think the the explanation is very clear is it okay yes okay. so let me explain this further scatter plot so the second the second function i said of using the scatter plot is to actually uh, uh determine the correlation the correlation hopefully <laughs> most of you understand the correlation so what is the correlation what's the meaning of the word the correlation who can try to explain the meaning of the word correlation you can talk what is the correlation? What do you understand? For those who come in from statistics, 
is the relationship between the two variables yes yes so remember here we have our tip variable given as x and then we have our total bit so when we talk about correlation it means we want to we want to see if the if uh, two or more variables are related in other words if two or more variables depend on each other okay like if you see data my the data the data set of mine here you can see the the tip and then we have the total bit okay so <clears throat> i can i can i can say that i can assume that the total bit will take a uh, 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 an in in an 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 did not a dependent but a dependent variable so the total bit variable will then take a dependent variable what does it mean it means that it depends on the bit the total bit being paid depends on the other variables depends on the gender depends on the the the, the people who smoke or not smoke depends on the the tips given okay also the size i don't know which the size the, the size of the people the size of the of the of the hotel or the whatever hmm? okay so from there from there once i've said maybe total bid will take the actually the dependent variable the remaining the remaining variables would take the the dependent let me write something here as more if you remember at the same one has written this one or has come up across with this one f y same as two mx plus c everyone i'm assuming everyone everyone has come across with this because if you have not come across with this it means you have not what you have not actually passed through the secondary education yes so this is what i mean this is what i mean so this is what we call actually a, a regression right so that the y is the dependent y dependent because you can see it depend on x it depend on c it depends on m okay then but we know m and c they are constant so we say x y is dependent of x again we say x is dependent so this variable of mine i put the x as tip because x is dependent De independent not dependent independent does it depend on the other but this y is dependent why because if i put remember maybe i assume my y is a must one okay and then now what if i put now <coughs> i give x is a, i give m maybe is a must four and then c is a must four and then i change the value of x again to five so my y would with what we we required we change that's why i'm saying y is dependent they depend on this x if the x changes then the y will also change yes so in that case that's where we actually come up with the correlation so we need for for us to create this relationship <clears throat> we need to determine whether the, whether y and x are first of all not y and x but the the x values the x values are what are correlated are they related to each other before we we do this we need to determine whether the x values are correlated so then x values in this case was the the tip and then we also have the y as the bit so the correlation works this way <clears throat> we have a, a positive correlation we have also a negative correlation okay so uh, the range of correlation is 0 to 1 0 to 1 that's the range of correlation so uh, actually 
Mm -hmm. Actually, we say that uh, <clears throat> variables are more correlated if their correlation value is close to the close to the one, and then the values are less correlated if they are close to the zero. Let me repeat that. I'm saying that we we say that our variables are are actually are actually uh, correlated are more correlated if they are values of correlation they are close to one. Also, we say the 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 values the the, the, the that that variable is now likely to have a less correlation if the value of correlation is close to zero because we have said correlation range from zero to one but also remember remember the remember the i'm assuming you understand we have the we have the actually uh, uh, uh the negative and then the positive side so you can either start from the negative and then from the positive side also so in a graph scatter plots now do not calculate the correlation values what does the scatter plot does it is to what to calculate to, not to calculate but to show now the distribution so usually if you look at the line of mine the line of mine it is taking what this this what the the, the this direction so it means that uh, 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 my values are what are actually positive correlated if I have a distribution where my line cuts across like this it means that my values are what are less less what less correct so you can see this <clears throat> these points of ours takes a, a distribution you can see the trend that's why the line follows the trend of that data points anyway these things you actually you actually realize or discover more information when you do them so um, just created a something and then you go and practice. I've created something. What you what you are supposed to do is go and practice. Go and practice. So, yes. So you just come to the documentation. You can see here we have so many options. We have the size. We have the U. We have the what. So let me add the U here. If I want to add the U comma add the u and then the u will always take the categorical variable so categorical variable in this case maybe i want the, the the gender or the smoker let me take the gender like this check yes so if i run this one you can see what is this Yes, if I run this one, <clears throat> segment U. What is it? What is it? Oh, actually, I was I was supposed to try this U. So must do sex. Let me just let me just uh -huh. yes so let's see the you so you can see the the right the right data points they are what they come from the male side and then the the female side so even from this distribution you can see that the the males are likely to be what more in the number compared to the to the females so in that case we say we have uh, the data is imbalanced anyway these things we can't actually achieve to complete all the things but what i've given you so far is enough for you to practice more and discover more things discover more information 
So let me just took maybe an example of a data set. <clears throat> so you can see this one, you can see this one. So you can include the other, other whatever. You can just the the, 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 the the data points, the, the way they are represented using the is it the U? Yes. No, not the U, but the size. The size, the size of that. So there's you you go and play with these things. You know how to plot, just <clears throat> go to this documentation here and then try to try to change. Try to change, try to include almost everything here. Okay? Include the U, include the size, you have included the U, <clears throat> include now the size. Okay, if I come here and say, come here and say <coughs> size, same as two, uh, uh, size same as two, I think it takes values. Is it? Yes. So, it's really this, so the size. Let me see the size would take which values affect the group of variables. Okay, anyway. So you just go and try to play with those things. Try to play with those things. And then that's where you discover the best uh, the best uh, actually graph. So the more you include these things, the more you include these things, the more your graph become I, I think is, is it beautiful or smart yes so let's 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 do the let's do the i think it is the last second last second graph the back graphs so the back graphs are very simple they are very simple so what they does it they represent, they actually represent they represent conversion so when you want to do the conversion the comparison between the comparison between what between the categorical variables and the continuous variables so maybe uh, i want to compare this remember i said probably the the men have have more data points compared to the female so if i want that information to be very clear because that is that now guesswork i'll just plot the the background so it's an s dot pa pub root then said pub root i specify data same as tips then i specify x x same as what x in this case should be same as two six and then y same as two the total pill so let me, let me run this so you can see you can see that the merit the merit are what the merit you have and let me let me let me remove this try to run this i want to see now the no, I have to. Yes. Why? Let me just include the way it is. to change. So you can see. You can see if you want to compare the total bid with the, the gender side, you can see now made a. Uh, of the highest total bids compared to the female. So I've said the the purpose of the paragraphs is to do comparison and contrast. Okay, the same way, the same way we can change maybe we can make change maybe tips. Let me change tips with this with the gender. I see. Uh, oh, uh, so I will change the 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 the. the, the. The, yeah, this one with the tip tip value. Yes, so you can see 
can see. You can see in terms of tips, the same way met add, met and what? Met and female and what are actually, but this one, I think this one is a misreading uh, information. Why? Because if I try to do the value count tips dot tips dot actually dot actually uh, 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 tips dot 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 what? What is this? The sex dot sex dot value counts. I want to do the value counts. No sort of value. The value counts. Uh, if I run this, so you can see. Let me pass something here. Normalize. So you can see these are the, the total counts. For male we have 157, so female we have 87. So if I run this one, now if I normalize, my values would be 0 to, to 1. So you can see 64%, 64% of the data points, 64% of the data points given, they are for med. And then fifth. 35% of the data points are given and for female. So I said this one is misreading. Why? Because the data of ours is what? Is being imbalanced. We have 64% of the data as men's. So the data should be close to the 50-50. So we will actually, we will actually <clears throat> we will actually, uh, next time we will try tomorrow, we, we will actually give an example of an embarrassed data and then try to see how we can solve the, when we have such cases. Yes. So I've said this, this information is misleading. Why? Because the, 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 another way you can say this is that uh, uh, we have bias. We have bias in our data what in the the, 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 the data uh, correction like most of the people who corrected the data may be preferred to correct from the males than the female that's why we have we have 64 percent of the data being given as males while that five or that six percent of the data comes from the female side anyway my point was this this, this, these paragraphs, they are used to what? To make convulsion, and then you contrast. I think that one is easier. So the last one, the last one. The last one, let me check the remaining graphs. Uh -huh. The firing, I think they are, I don't want to do the firing because they are almost the same. <clears throat> they are almost the same as the, this, whatever. So the more graphs, the more you will get confused. So let me, let me calculate the, the heat map, the heat map. One, let me actually <clears throat> create a heat map. So for those who are new, I have a question. Yes. I have a question. Yes. So how uh, maybe we have a, a data set you are using? Can we visualize the uh, three vari three variables in the same plot using, uh, for example, the sex tips and maybe which, which graph? Which graph? Variable. Which one graph do you want? The bar plot. The bar plot. So I yeah. said, I said, power plots, you compare, you compare categorical variables with a uh, continuous variable. So if you check the tips data set, tips dot add, dot add, if you run this, you can see, 
So, so for, for the reference rate, I want you so to go to actually, let's, uh, take, total, total. let's take the day because you can see the day is a categorical variable and maybe the tips or the what? Or the? What I mean is we use two numerical variables and one categorical. Two numerical? Yeah. No, I don't think that will work. Why are you saying that way? You you need to create two graphs if you want to do that. Okay. And how, how do we uh, combine different graphs in one in just one plot? So probably that is we create a plot. Maybe in that case you can use the the. We have SNS dot SNS dot phase. Yes, you can use SNS for dot phase grid. So this one would actually confuse you, but why why can't you just start with this and then we would actually you would discover more information, but if I try to do, to do more of this, maybe we will have so many confusion. But let me just try to answer your question. So you can use the the face face grid. The facet grid will give an option of what of 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 plotting more graphs. The same way you are you are trying to do. Okay. So let me let me actually. So we, we 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 pass the data that is tips, and then we 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 specify the the core the columns that is X, and then we can also specify the the rows the rows given us as what as 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 yeah maybe six uh maybe day so the columns anyway let me just see day okay so after this let me just assign this and then say Q same as and then say Q dot dot map and then say map so let me just try to do this yes yeah, so you mean some things like this huh so you can see, you can actually uh, do more whatever the 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 the. Let me now change this algorithm to Pimba. Back root. Then. What 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 what. Hmm. <clears throat> now it's come very funny. Uh -huh. So let me try to change some things here. Let me just say I want to use only the corpse. Yes, yeah, so we can actually do the some combination, but you know you have to be you, you would use the 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 the, the face facet grid to combine graphs. Okay. So I actually want to Oh, 
now this one x same as this and then y y same as two oh, oh. Still a little, so top of bit. Okay, so what I do, uh -huh. <clears throat> As from here, I say X seven two. And then here I map X. Hmm. So I would actually try to but the other graphs does they the 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 you can map the the actually distribution graphs. You can actually map the distribution graphs. I'll find the other way to actually maybe plot of these more graphs are the same same graph so so the only right graph that that works right now is a distribution graph so to divide Let me try this. Yes, yeah, so let me try the, the T dot. The T dot 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 actually. So this this is what I've tried to create so far. <clears throat> These are back graphs, and then we have uh, whatever. So let's try to change to oh. Let me try to change. This is the total bit. Change this to to be. Six and this. Uh, ha 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 smoker. Yeah. So try to actually play with the. I think this one now works up. Huh? So I've tried to combine the. This one comes. The PLT dot comes from. Comes from the Matpro trip. That's okay. Yes. So for you to, <coughs> you can also use my trip to do all these graphs. Just go and do the documentation, documentation of these graphs. So if I say, say pt dot prod, dot prod, and then I pass data, then I graph, I graph my 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 graphs there using the math pro trip. Don't have my x and y. Uh, 
Yes. So you can also use my pro trip. Go and do the documentation. Go and do the documentation for doing my pro trip. But you can use one. You can choose one and you specialize in that. So I will send notes. I will send notes. I will send notes. You try to you. <coughs> I will send notes to include the 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 packages for protein inter interactive graphs. That is Protry, the the bokeh, and then you will install those packages before you use them. You will need to install those packages using Pip or Conda. So I think I have just finished the the, the graph. The, I have finished the class for today. Unless you have the question. Don't have any question? Yes, let's meet tomorrow.